How difficult is it to get into sports analytics? Is the job market destroyed and therefore salaries are a certain percent lower than other fields for people with the same experience slash skills? Let's just go one by one then. The pay is sh you're wrong. The pay is just different because the pay everywhere is different. That's the first step. Working in sports does cost. It, uh, it does come at a discount. If you want to go work at a bank as a data scientist or something similar, hour for hour, you will make more money, especially at the entry level. The difference between making money elsewhere at a younger level, making a lot more money versus working in baseball. If you stick with baseball for literally the same amount of time as any other company, you'll end up making the same, if not a little more. And that's mainly because of how, uh, how few companies there are. And by companies, I mean baseball teams or sports teams in general. So is the pay shit? And again, this is my personal bias against t like Reddit threads like this. The majority of people on this thread are probably suffering from pretty strong Dunning-Kruger syndrome, but uh, I would just assume in general that everyone in this thread who wants to comment on anything like this, one, doesn't have the experiences like I have. How many f directors of baseball teams are trolling, trolling Reddit on their Twitch stream? I can't imagine many. 50 to 60 hour weeks, sometimes that happens, right? If you're a part of the draft, three three to four weeks out of your year where that's happening, but at any particular company or at some point in time in your career, you will end up being up against the clock and working that many hours anyway. Sports analytics for big teams is extremely saturated because of how few positions there are. You'll get hundreds slash thousands of applicants for big sports companies. Bro, if I had a thousand applicants, that would be insane. And those companies pay very little for highly qualified. <laughs> We're talking 40 to 50. What the fuck? <laughs> and that's if you get in. When you hit senior levels, you're closer to 90 to 128, but I haven't personally met anyone at that level. Jesus Christ. Um, here are some real salaries. Yeah, this is true, right? These are posted. Um, and you can see that with the Mets, too. I believe the Mets computer vision analyst role was somewhere in this range, like 100 to 150K. The sports scientist is not the data scientist. They're sports scientists. Their background might be in biomechanics, kinesiology, something to do with how like human anatomy or human physiology works. Uh, this is not necessarily the analytics role. And the director of performance science, this is also something related to biomechanism, health and performance, uh, strength and conditioning. Again, not necessarily strictly an analytics role. It's like, oh, look, these data scientists, look how much they're paying at this company. And you brought up like the web app developers or like the database engineering developers. Even in my interview, my bosses said, don't get into baseball for money. I would say the same thing. If you want to make money and you value your time, there are way better places to make money for you know, hour to hour value. Absolutely. This is getting more echo chambery. I'll, I'll end with this. How difficult is it to get into sports analytics? Not difficult at all. So many people out there think it's so fucking hard and like you need to be like some Ivy League god tier sum cum laude dude. My family didn't even know baseball was a fucking sport. When I said I was going to work for a baseball team, they didn't know what sport the Cincinnati Reds played for. You go to this website. You go to find a job. And then you go to categories. And you can go technical services and player operations. Then you say search. And now here are all the different jobs related to um, player operations, like baseball operations, football operations, basketball operations, whatever, and technical services, anything that is under the analytics branch. And then you just go through them. And here's all the jobs. Here's a data engineer for the Washington Commanders. Here's a data scientist for analytics job at the Orioles. Go work for Eve. Click a job and apply.
And that's what I did. I clicked a job and I applied and I applied to a bunch of them. How difficult is it for me to recruit the best candidates for the job? Really difficult. And the reason it's really difficult is because of shit like this thread. And that's really unfortunate because there are candidates out there who would be amazing for this industry if they knew that the opportunities actually sufficed these preconceived notions of theirs. We work in sprints like other tech data science teams. At the end of a sprint, they have the sprint Friday off. We end on a Thursday, they get that Friday at the end of a sprint off. They're not required to go to every game. They're not required to come in on the weekends during games. That doesn't exist. The people who do that is because it's they choose to do that. It's not doesn't go on any review. You do your work in my department, you're going to get awarded for doing the work and you're going to go high because of it, because you're good. Our data science tells me yeah, you're wrong. That's true. And real. The difference in pay is so exaggerated. It is. It makes this seem like it's real. And when people talk to me or ask me about a career, it's shit like this that makes them afraid of working in sports. We value technical skills in sports so much so that we are now aggressively paying people to stay in companies at sports teams. Then the second thing is the idea that it's hard to get into because of like saturation or uh, because of like you don't have the connections in. That's just wrong too. Trust me for this one second that if you apply anywhere, I promise you, it will be more worth your time than you might take a Reddit thread for. Corgi sized meteor as heavy as four baby elephants. Why did they show this picture? Wouldn't this picture be way better if it was just a picture of a corgi? 